Hi YouTube, um, I'm just going to do a quick video on my uh, armadillo herbie. I'm having some giant mealworms which are a sort of bit of a treat for him. So I'll just show you down here. Um, here he is, I think he's all sort of ready for them. And quite often I just give him normal mealworms but today I'm going to give him giant mealworms which I think he definitely prefers but I don't want to um, give him those all the time so I'm just going to keep this open okay so you can see what he's done here to his, his water dish and his food dish from that's what it looks like after he's uh, had an evening so he's he's eaten what he wants out of his food bowl and his water dish is he's trodden it all in it's gone really skanky so that's what I have to clean out every morning here he is hey buddy but yeah, I try and clean it all out because it means that then he's not treading it all into his um, Timothy hay. So this is his mealworm dish. I'll just move him out by a second. Come on, Herb. Grab it onto the side. Yeah, so I just tip out this Timothy hay. And what I've got here is a, um, a glass. This is the one I just use for putting my mealworms in. This is how the giant mealworms come, just in bran. You just take them out, so they're all in here ready to go. Um, apart from, I put a bit of this Nutribar on the top. It doesn't need to be too much, just a little bit like that. And I just shake that in. And then I'll tip this in here. Is that the way it Come here, buddy. He knows what's coming. There you go, buddy. Here we go. So what I've noticed about armadillos is, um, you know, rather than him come in and eat every single mealworm that's in this dish, which he could do, um, he'll eat almost all of them, but he'll usually save a few. I think it's really good. It's like a sort of, um, it's like a, a kind of a survival thing. Like in the wild, if they don't eat literally everything they find, there might be some left to um, breed so you can eat them next time. <laughs> That's what I like to think. But yeah, he hoovers them down. They go, they go pretty quickly. Hello, he's very um, interested in what's going on. That's the problem. Hello. Oh, yes, you're very cute. Can I have some more mealworms? <laughs> hey, hey, buddy. This is a video of you eating your mealworms. Ah, what's this? Oh, you just want to play, don't you? Do you just want to play? Yes, you're very cute. Yes, you are. What's this? Um, you can see in his cage, by the way, that uh, he's sort of demolished his nest. Quite often he'll do this after he's been in it all, all night. He'll demolish his nest so it's all flat again. So yeah, all the Timothy hay um, from around his whole enclosure is a sort of a flat layer again. And then what I'll do is, after he's eaten these, he'll recreate his nest in the corner. Um, and then he'll curl up and go to sleep again uh, and then he'll wake up because I think I've said um, 
in another video that they're crepuscular, so he'll wake up uh, and he'll he'll feed basically dawn and dusk. So he has his mealworms in the morning, and then at night he has his um, bowl of food. And you can see my other video if you want to see how I prepare the bowl of food. But yeah, it's just it's just interesting the way he decides to demolish the nest every day and then rebuild it <laughs> and get back in it. It's it's like he's yeah, making it new. Like he's making his bed. But you can really hear him eating these mealworms. I was hoping you might get to see his really long tongue, but I don't know if you can. He's, he uses it so fast, it kind of whips out, just, you know, just uh, wraps around a mealworm and hoiks it up into his mouth, and then uh, and then he's eating the mealworm, so it's tricky to see it. Hey, buddy. But yeah, I was saying, like, their, um, their skull, their teeth are all sort of set right um, far back so it's it's kind of uh, just gets the meal one right back to the back of his mouth to chew it up there you go so normally he has just normal standard sized mealworms and he'll take a tub of mealworms each morning just saving a few in his dish um, but yeah these a lot he'll probably eat a lot more of these giant mealworms before he goes to sleep again for the day but he he tends to leave maybe five or six in there just as a i like to think it's maybe as a safety net in case he gets hungry again he can come back and have some more <laughs> and like i say maybe it's a thing so that in in the wild if they eat if they leave a few bugs um, it'll just carry on the bug population in that area so that uh, he'll always have something to eat. Anyway, thanks for watching this. Um, and if you like this kind of video, um, check out my other videos um, on uh, Herbie the Armadillo, but also um, lots of the other animals that I keep. I keep a lot of reptiles and amphibians and um, invertebrates and other small mammals. Um, but Herbie's definitely my favourite and my ultimate goal is to find him a girlfriend <laughs> so this enclosure that he's got it's all like um, heated underneath and stuff there's another um, cage above it which is identical but at the moment it's got a lot of my sort of toy cars and things in it um, but I'd like to take them all out and put a female armadillo in there and then she would just um, be brought down here or he would be brought up to her rather uh, to um just to for mating purposes uh, and then for quite a lot of the year uh, they'd be separate from each other and then just during the breeding season they would be introduced together but it would be so cool to breed this species just see little baby ones oh i mean he's cute enough but you know as babies they're even cuter <laughs> not that anything could be any cuter than my particular individual armadillo herbie <laughs> he is a, the best animal in the world i think but i am a bit biased i suppose okay don't forget to hit subscribe um and i will see you in the next video